oil shock. Oil near $50 a barrel. Gas and heating oil prices soaring as well. Where does it go from here? From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. From gasoline to heating oil, from plastic to electrical power, this is a world that runs on oil. And when the price of oil goes up, so does the cost of living across a broad spectrum of products. Tonight, the price of oil is at an all-time high, just shy of $50 a barrel. It went up today 26 cents a barrel to 49.90. With an American presidential campaign underway here and turmoil in many of the world's biggest oil-producing regions, this is not just a business story. NBC's Ann Thompson tonight on the wide-ranging effect of costly oil. Today's frenetic activity in the oil market stirred up by the aftermath of Hurricane Ivan. The storm has slowed production in the southeast by a half million barrels a day. Add to that the political unrest in Nigeria, America's fifth largest oil supplier, and continuing violence in the Middle East, and you have the reasons why tonight oil is within a dime of the $50 mark. Right now, the cushion between demand and capacity is very, very thin. So when we see a supply disruption, be it in Iraq, Nigeria, or the U.S. Gulf of Mexico, we're going to see prices rise. Truckers now pay more than $2 a gallon for diesel, a new record. And gasoline is going back up, jumping a nickel in the past week. Home heating oil costs almost 60 cents a gallon more than last year, and it's not even cold yet. Texas oil legend T. Boone Pickens says, get used to it. You're going to see $60 oil before you see $40 oil. Even with another promise today from Saudi Arabia to increase production. Why? Because world demand is the strongest in a generation. The U.S. is the world's largest consumer, using some 15 million barrels a day, most of it for transportation. And though alternative fuel vehicles like gas-electric hybrids get a lot of attention, they account for less than 1% of all cars and trucks sold. On the campaign trail, President Bush talks about exploration, Senator Kerry, conservation, and both tout alternative fuels. But critics say that's not enough. We need to come up with ways where we're more proactive as opposed to being reactive like we have been in the past. Contractor David Aramburu can only react. His gas bill is up 25 percent, and his suppliers now charge him for the fuel to deliver their wood. We just absorb the cost. But for how much longer before the oil shock becomes an oil crisis? Ann Thompson, NBC News, Washington.